this is the road that washed out. As you can see, there is quite a bit of damage. As you can see, there's no more trees on this empty lot. This lot that was that is for sale, so they it seems the new practice is to clear the lots now of all timber and underbrush. And then of course we have Cal Fire and other agencies harassing people to do so. I've lived here for a long time. I can tell you that this lot used to be heavily wooded and filled with underbrush such as blackberries and poison oak and what have you. And it was nice cover for wildlife as well. And now we have a road that's washed out. It made quite a noise when it went. I thought it was Al Qaeda getting ready to attack us because, you know, and it took out some water mains. Our water pressure went way down. At first we didn't know what had happened, if a transformer had blown or something. We had water, but it was it was a trickle. We didn't know why the water pressure had, been, had gone down, but we know why now because look at all the pipes that were broken. So yeah, this is the uh, the lovely aftermath and devastation that occurred. Oh yes, of course, and the, the power lines that are uh, down, as you can see, I broke one of the telephone poles. Let me get a better shot of this. The telephone pole is hanging in the air. Can you see that? In it yet, and the lines are now hanging in that tree, going up to that pole. So, yeah, it's lovely. And this is the view from the other side. Not really an excuse for that. Looks like the road was tilted a little bit so the, the rain could run off. Not really sure why this happened. Or, well, it's probably mismanagement. That's probably why it happened. That's why. Because we're cutting down all the trees in the un underbrush is a good idea. It used to be you left the trees in the underbrush up to provide cover for the animals and to provide roots into the soil to keep everything from, you know, eroding, but no. Apparently it's a fire hazard now. Of course we have a preserve not not even half a mile away. If you touch a blade of grass, you'll be arrested. I think that's a fire hazard, but you know, they let that for a while. 